What's good, everybody? This is JB23. Bring you gaming for the people. GFTP. And of course, you won't hear any cursing in this video because I'm trying to get right with Jesus. Anyways, uh, man, what Sony just announced? Well, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, don't take the Lord's name, man. But what Sony just announced was they trying to make cable TV live. Yeah, cable TV live. They're trying to make their life. Boy, if they make their life, everybody going to be saying Infinity who? No, because there's, there's Xfinity. That's the new time, um, time on the cable name. Or Comcast or however you want to call it. But they, uh, Sony, um, I think they reached an agreement with Viacom. Viacom owns BT, MTV, uh, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and more. And, um, Another rumor was said that Sony is supposed to <clears throat> um, make an agreement with um, Walt Disney, you know. And I'm thinking, well, man, what they doing is groundbreaking. They are literally shoving their their foot into the competition, like literally. I mean, that's like that's very groundbreaking to see something like that, you know, like to see cable television run on your PS4. You don't need no cable box. And a couple of your friends, your cousin, whatever, want to come over and watch TV. Be like, oh, but, hey, man, I got a new PS4, man. We just want to watch TV. Okay, man, we watching on PS4. Man, how, man? Man, they lie cable, bro. You know what I'm saying? This the future. <laughs> but, yeah, no, nah, like I was saying, man. It, it's <clears throat> it's amazing, man. <clears throat> Microsoft got something like that, but Microsoft, it has like a barrier wall. Like, they, you have to hook, hook it up inside the cable box with Microsoft in order for it to work. Um, so with Sony, with the PS4 on the other hand, like, you don't really need to do that. You just, I mean, cut on, I guess they trying to make it like a monthly subscription like Netflix or Hulu Plus or something like that, but I don't know. Oh yeah, with GamesCon, GamesCon coming around, I think next Tuesday, we'll be seeing a lot of games. We really, personally, we really need to see that Sony, excuse me, we really need to see that Sony release date. I can't stress it out enough. It's been a rumor saying they might release around October, October-ish. That's what I'm hoping for, but, like, you know, can't, um, can't promise you that, but, like I said, we'll just have to see. I know Microsoft bringing in some great games. You know, I just found out that, um, Titanfall might be a timed exclusive for, um, Xbox One, but it will eventually be coming out on PS4 as well. We'll be copying it. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, man, it's just, man, it's like, as games progress, like, the technology gets even better and better, and, like, I hate the way I look at it, man, live cable television, that's, I mean, it, it been out for a while through the internet, you do live streaming, live streaming through, like, the, um, websites and stuff, but, man, through a gaming console, that's unheard of, that's unprecedented, and I've, I've been around the gaming system since, man, uh, since N Nintendo NES. But, like I was saying, man, we just have to see. And, uh, oh, yeah. I got to tell you, um, another room was saying that Rockstar might, there ain't no guarantee they might be bringing the Grand Theft Auto V to um, PS4, Xbox One. So, we just have to see on that. But, yeah, uh, there will be a whole lot of news I'll have for you today. And, um... Oh, of course, you know, if I if I see something, if I research something, of course, y'all will be the first to know. Until next time, this is, has been Gaming for the People, GFTP. And don't forget to get right with Jesus.